disgorgement is a common problem with breastfeeding. It can happen anytime there's extra milk, blood, or fluid sitting in the breast and causes pain, inflammation, and swelling. It can happen when your milk transitions from colostrum to mature milk in the early days after birth. It happens anytime later on if you've gone too long between feeding or pumping. If your baby has a tongue tie or you're using the wrong size pump flange and milk is not efficiently emptying from the breast. If you have a plug duct, mastitis, or any other inflammation in the breast. If you have gone too long between feeding and pumping or if you have a history of breast implants. I'm going to show you today a very basic technique to be able to help move this swelling off of the breast. We're going to take advantage of the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is part of your circulatory and immune systems. It's made up of a series of lymph vessels, organs, and tissues, and uses the movement of lymph to move, which is a fluid, to move waste and toxins out of your body. The lymph fluid helps move waste and toxins through your bloodstream to be filtered out of your body through your urine, perspiration, bowel movements, and even your breath. You have lymph nodes in your armpit and above and below your collarbone. By moving lymph and jump-starting the movement of fluid from your breast, we can move fluid and swelling off of the breast into the lymph nodes of the armpit and above and below the collarbone to help reduce that swelling in your breast. Today, to start with the lymphatic drainage massage, we're going to use a very simple pump-like action. It's a gentle massage where we're going to move the breast and tissue and then let it go back to its normal state. It should feel gentle and not aggressive. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start by doing a pumping action up into the armpit. So we're going to take your arm, wrap it around your armpit, and we're just going to do an in and up massage. Taking fluid, you want to think of it like taking fluid from this back portion of the breast, and we're going to move it up and into the armpit. This is going to jump start your lymph system. You want to do a pump in and up in and up about five to ten times. This is going to jump start your lymph system to get that fluid to move. Now I'm doing this with my scrubs on. It's really best if you do this with skin to skin. The next movement we're going to do is you're going to take your whole breast in both of your hands and you're going to move your breast up and back. Like you're going to try to move fluid from your breast and dump it into your armpit. And you're gonna pump, so pump and release about five to 10 times. You can do more if you have a lot of swelling. Okay. Then we're gonna focus on this inner upper quadrant. So we're gonna try to move fluid and swelling off of this portion of the breast. So you're gonna hold your breast up with this hand and use the other opposite hand to pump up towards your collarbone. So again, you're feeling for any fluid and swelling in this area of the breast and trying to pump it up and back into your collarbone area. Your underhand can also come with your breast if you need to, if you're having a lot of swelling. Then you're gonna do that again five to 10 times. You can go a few more times if you have a lot of swelling in that breast. Then you're gonna take both hands on your breast and you're gonna pump straight back into your chest. This is to move that fluid off of the entire breast. You may already start to notice movement of fluid as you're doing these actions. There you go. All right, now you can do both sides. Um, if you have a lot of swelling in this area, you also have lymph nodes down along your, this line of your body. You have one down here at your hip where your, your hip crease meets. So you can also gently massage that fluid down and away from the breast as well. So the first line of action is to pump up into the armpit because those lymph nodes are closer. But if you have a lot of swelling down under this side of the breast, you can also pump it down and away from the breast in that direction. Now, usually when you have uh, engorgement, that's not from your colostrum transitioning to mature milk, it's usually on one breast. If you're engorged because of colostrum transitioning to mature milk, you would then do the other side. So you go in and do your pumping action up and into your armpit. You remove the entire breast up and back. You're gonna pump up and into the center and back into your chest wall. 
okay? And then again, if you have a lot of swelling on this side, we're gonna then pump that down and away, down towards those other lymph nodes in your body. Okay, so this is a very simple, basic version of a lymphatic drainage massage. If your symptoms don't resolve in 24 to 48 hours or get worse, make sure you reach out to a board certified lactation consultant, a primary care physician, a licensed massage therapist, or an acupuncturist to help further reduce your symptoms. If your symptoms are associated with a fever of 100 degrees or greater for 24 hours, or if you have flu-like symptoms, that is a sign that you have mastitis, and you'll want to be seen by your primary care physician right away to go on antibiotics. This again is a basic simple massage that you can try at home. The lymphatic system is made up of a series of one-way valves, so you're not gonna pump the wrong direction. And your main focus is that you're trying to move fluid. So think of it of trying to um, get that pull, that fluid off of the breast by getting it to move, okay? Now you know.